Hello and welcome to the final video for our Albert Durr drawings. My name is Eric and today we're going to be finishing our drawings with ink. Uh, in the last video I did some of the looser forms. Uh, in this video we're going to be pushing those forms um, all the way with value and detail. Uh, you may notice that I've come in and done a little bit more uh, graphite sketching uh, here at uh, the base. Um, once you get to the graphite, or excuse me, the ink stage, don't feel bad or like you're doing something wrong if you have to come back to the graphite stage and refine areas further. Uh, there's no problem in going back and forth, as long as you're still giving that ink a little bit of time to dry. Um, you may have noticed I haven't really tackled the face yet. That'll be one of the last things I tackle um, as I move in to that area with more detail surrounding it. Uh, any of those areas that I'm more concerned about, I'll save for the end. Um, there'll be plenty of detail to build around them, which will help them make more sense when I get to them. Um, okay, so you're going to be noticing I'm going to be using my ink here, my liners uh, of all different sizes. Um, once again, I have some Windsor & Newton and I have uh, a Micron as well. Um, all good uh, utensils to use. I also will be using my ruler uh, to keep a straight line for much of the hatching um, and value lines, especially at the top um, and throughout the rest of the drawing. Okay, so not a perfect drawing, but I am calling myself basically done for the demo. Um, notice the line quality. I tried to keep it consistent as I went. I did also use a larger Sharpie to develop some of that thicker line weight in some of those areas. Uh, depending on what your composition was, uh, you may want to do the same thing. I once again had some areas that were fairly substantial dark area, and I found that was beneficial for me. Um, but if you have a lot more sort of smaller details kind of bouncing around, you might not want or need that. Um, I could still probably spend about an hour on this to continue to push space. Uh, and I may have gone a little bit slower if I was turning this in for a grade and not a demo. But overall, the line quality uh, works pretty well. Uh, some of the value uh, as far as uh, mark making, I made a number of mistakes. Um, but I think most of them uh, sort of hide themselves overall, sort of the overall aesthetic of the piece. Um, so yeah, when you're attacking these drawings, big detail before small detail, uh, less important areas before more important areas, uh, and then when you're adding that value, just stay consistent and try to keep that line weight fairly consistent as you go. Also remember, I do have one more big step, and that's going to be erasing any stray graphite I still have on the drawing uh, to make sure I clean up anything that... Uh, might confuse the composition or uh, compromise my line quality overall. 